Previously on Nier Automimata. Maybe we should hack on the machines and see what they have in their head. Maybe we should. Instead of just killing them. We should have hacked the tank to see what it wanted. We should have hacked the bloody tank to see what it was thinking. Oh wow. Oh wow, maybe they just wanted to throw a party and we killed them. Shit. Wow, this, this game makes me regret killing everything that moves. I never thought this day would come, but I am paying for my sins. Are we able to hack Adam and Eve? Imagine being able to hack them and see what's inside their brains. Shit, we'll probably feel bad, maybe. I don't know. Alright, we're back. We're back. We're back. We are back. How's it going? Green screen. How much RAM do you have? I have 32 gigabytes. Um, the problem that I was talking about uh, when you upload some videos on Adobe being green is just the thing that happens periodically. But I found the solution to be just make sure the video is not much longer than two hours. It happens sometimes. I've been googling potential solutions and the issue is it, ju it just happens. It's like an importing error that it has. And I can't really find a solution online, so the workaround is just make sure the videos aren't too long. It's weird because sometimes I can upload a gameplay that's five hours long, no issue, and then you upload something that's two hours long, and it's green. And then you just download the video from uh, YouTube that's literally the same length, you upload it, and it has no issues. So it's... it's really weird. Um, it's really weird. So, I don't know, I'm just trying to work around it. Because I'd really like to get some LPs out to get more people on board with this. Because it's really a fun game. An amazingly fun game. I love these sort of open world things, but I love the RPG elements as well because I just love them. Love exploring these mechanics. Alright, let's go explore that crater. But the thing is, I really want the... Um, I don't know where to get the materials to upgrade my pods. Natural rubbers, pure waters... We have to go to certain sections um, of the map to get it, but I don't know where. So if you guys know where to get those upgrades, let me know. Can we do the parade now? Let's try to do the parade. Hello, you're an android, are you not? Let me ask you, do you think the world is full of love? It might be. Don't you think we all need to express more happiness in our daily lives? I suppose. Exactly. In which case... You seem like just a person to help me make this world a better place. Sure, I guess. Really? Do you believe in the dream of connecting to the entire world with love? Yes, I do. I see, I see. Then perhaps I can believe in you. You see, there are many machines who detest fighting. As such, I've decided to gather them together in order to hold a parade. It will be a parade of love and friendship for all. However, as it turns out, there are many among us who frown upon such outspoken expressions of love. Therefore, I'm hoping you will protect our parade in order to ensure the successful dispensation of its wonderful message. Agree to the parade. Thank you for your support. If you could keep my companion safe while we conduct the parade, I would be ever so happy. Now then, let's show everyone the power of friendship. Let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, we should be able to do Alert. it. Exiting the planned operational area. Proposal. Return to the operational area immediately. Well, well, I'll get to keep them safe. Someone died here. Continue repair. Yeah, I think we're powerful enough for this. They're spreading love! I hope they're not attacking us anymore. Are you guys...
No! 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 Don't kill my toasters! No! You guys are more difficult to defend than you made it! Damn it! Keep him safe! Keep him safe! Fuck off! Take me instead! No! Go away! No! Why did such violence have to occur? I refuse to give up. You assholes ruined my parade! So close, so close. I think we got the general idea correct, we just need a little bit more firepower. If we can upgrade our, um... If we can upgrade our, um... Our, our, our pod, it would be great, but unfortunately... We don't have the material. Who's this guy? No! I don't want to fall. What? How do I get up there? See, there's like a guy literally just sitting there. I want to go meet him. What's he doing up there? What are you doing up here? That machine. I think something's wrong with it. A wise machine? Hello, anybody home in there? Come on, I know you can hear me. What are you doing here? Analysis scans indicate no mechanical functions as you know, therefore it must be deliberately ignoring you. So it's gonna be like that, is it? Hack it! What's your meaning? That voice couldn't have been the machine's thoughts, right? Was it seriously trying to figure out the meaning of existence? Negative. Machine life forms do not possess such thought routines. Well, yeah, but... Wow! It's kind of sad knowing these machines who want to spread happiness does easily compared to aggressive robots. Yeah, aggressive. They die against aggressive robots. Aggressive robots win. It's kind of sad, but it's sort of an... It's, it's sort of like a, an example of um, life. Oh, I'm gonna get back to Hanky Dude. Uh, are the gameplay files on the same drive as the program uh, is installed on? No, it's on a separate hard drive. I use an SSD drive for all my programs, and I use uh, other internal drives for um, um, for the video files, like terabyte drives. All right, let's go down. What's down there? Why is that big guy down there? All right, let's go see the aliens. We tried to do a parade, but that failed. Let's go fight Adam and Eve. Awesome. Go to the building where you fought the Goliath. There is a good side quest. All right, let's do it. You know what? Let's go to Adam and Eve first and then do the side quest. Otherwise, Yorha will get angry at us. We'll try not to kill Adam and Eve too quickly so we can actually listen to their speech and then we can try to, you know, uh, hack them. Yay. Oh wow, maybe the way to get uh, the crafting materials is just to get all these, like, things. This hallway looks pretty old. 
Don't make me kill you all, I'll do it. I didn't even want to kill him. But I had no choice. See, I don't even have to do anything at this point. More XP. Laser power. OP. What the? Ooh. Bottleneck. Gotta love all the items we're getting. And we only get richer. Are those flying snake things are what? Drop auto heal chips. Oh, so different enemies drop different things. So, would you happen to know which enemies drop um, the crafting items we need for our pods and our swords? I would really like that. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. Yep. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. All right, let's try to talk to them without attacking them. Maybe we can actually get some exposition without violence. Are they dead? To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <gasps> to the graveyard of our creators. Of course, he got a tattoo. Okay, let's not fight them. Let's just talk. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They're fighting. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows, perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. They started it! We can grow, we can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us. Oh, wow, he's actually doing karate. Grew. Now they are interesting. Why that? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to... Let's see what this does. Damn it! You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We My God! We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secret. This is actually harder than it looks. I regret uh, reviving that last Android. Surely you see the attraction in this. Well, it does do damage. Him. We'd never do that. Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I like I like his karate. I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option. Is to destroy you. I love the how basic the technique is. The same way we destroyed the 
these pathetic little aliens. I'm loving how basic his attack is. It's so slow. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. Look close at the scene after the fight. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Okay, is there something I missed the first time around? Because I have watched the Drake and Guard thing and I sort of know who these alien thingies are. But I'm sort of thinking, what did I miss? <coughs> did I miss something? I'm trying to think, did I miss something? Is there a dragon here, maybe? No? Any dragons? Any dragons? <laughs> I'm so invested in this game. So invested in this game. You miss Red Girl? Was she here? Was Red Girl here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Back this way again? That's fucked up. What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Red Girl was the holy fuck. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Isn't Red Girl the one that goes around and logs things? She's basically an android that goes through space and time to make sure things go the way they're supposed to. What the fuck is she doing here? That's one of the big mysteries, what happened to Angelus's body. The fuck? <laughs> I'm so invested in this game. I'm so invested in this game now. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? Sure thing. So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Okay, sounds good to me. Alright, let's do that um, quest where we go fight uh, Goliath, uh, where Goliath was, in the building. Oh my god, so what... I'm, I'm, I'm happy I actually watched the analysis for Drakengard 1, um, 2, and 3. Just because it gives me a little bit of background, but I also have to watch the uh, near analysis to see what happened in near, because it's all the same world. I mean, that's the deceptive thing. When you call a game near and near automata, you sort of assume that the prequels also have the same name. Oh, they're level forty. I'm level forty now. Oh wow. But why is it that the machines go up with my level? What's the story reason for that? I can understand why 9S is the same level as, uh, sorry, 2B is the same level as 9S because they're sharing combat data, but why are these machines also leveling up? Are we sharing our combat data with them? Doesn't that mean that our, you know, data's been compromised? Is the commander doing it? Like, who's doing it? It's pretty much a thing. So many mysteries. I like solving mysteries like this because it makes me think, but... Ah. Can I hack this guy yet? Hang on, Tubi. Hmm? This machine is still alive. So destroy it. Maybe we should hold off. Its main drive has been trashed, so there's no way it can attack us. And we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it. So...
I can't do anything yet? Why do I need to do this? I, I'd really like to. No, I'm not interested in you, Red. Alright, let's go to the building. Just game balance? Okay. I thought it could have been part of the mystery or something, you know? Ah, maybe I'm overthinking it. A foolish doll. I swear to God I've, I've helped you up before. It keeps dying. Alright, so we go up here. Is it to do with the hacking? Could be. I went until after the end of Route B to watch a near analysis skimmer. Okay. I think that's fair. I mean, I was more than happy to play the whole of Nier Automata without watching a Nier analysis. And maybe in the future going back to Nier. I don't know. It depends on whether or not it's a good game. I'm down for playing good games, guys. Like, I love playing good games. Give me a good game any day of the week. What's the point of this? Can I open this? Of course not. So what's the point of it? No, 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 no! No, you stupid! No! Oh, you didn't take a lot of full damage. Impractical bloody stairs. Alright, so can I see where I want to jump? Can, can we... Who do I have to kill to know what floor? Wait, can I... Can I... Can, I, can, can, can you, like, like, go? I, how do I... I... No. Chip. I'm so confused as to... No, 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 no! No, but... God damn it. When you, when you get defeated by stairs, they should just play Snake Eater while they're at it. I swear this is Snake Eater right here. If I played Snake Eater while climbing this, it would not be out of place. What a thrill. I, I don't know if you guys get the Snake Eater reference. I, it, 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 it's, it's a thing. It's a, it's a meme. It's iconic. There's a flight of stairs in MGS3 that lasts about three minutes to climb. And during the stairs, they play Snake Eater. And whenever it happens, everyone just turns up the volume. Can I? There we go. It's actually got some pretty cool boss fights. Just don't do... Just don't do all the side quests. They'll torture you. Uh, okay. So, side quest is somewhere here, right? I said it's inside the building where we fought the Goliath. Is it in here? Is it on this floor? Is it on the other building? Just, uh, point me in the right direction. I'll find that side quest. I like doing a few side quests. Give me more of the story. Was it here? No? Oh, that's an item. To be honest, the gameplay is not that bad. Not bad. Ooh, Phoenix Sword. I guess the trip here was worth it. Um, so where's that side quest? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? There's a red. There's a red blimp on my radar. There's a red blimp on my radar. Is he down there? Is it someone outside? No, it's someone inside. In building, I don't know what stairs. There's a blimp on my radar. There's someone in here. Could it be here? There was a blimp on my radar. What's this? What's this? Give me. Down? Okay, keep going down. Keep going down. I'm going down, down, down. And the blimp on my radar is gone. Okay, we're on the ground level now. The blimp on my radar is gone. There was something on my radar right here on the edge. Other... What's that? So, there's something on that middle floor. Hasn't unlocked? Maybe. This game is very specific. It unlocks certain quests at certain times, but then after a while they become... Wait, there's the blimp on my radar. But what is that? It's right 
here. Basically here, maybe a few floors higher. Not there. Is it here? Wait a minute, is it here? Oh, here we go. Wow. Hey, you're with the resistance, are you okay? You know the explosion that happened in the ruins? The shockwave hit me like a shockwave. Guess knocked my circuits out of whack, but I managed to... Wait a second. You look familiar. Have we met before? Me, no, but lots of Yoha models look alike. Oh, so you two are with Yoha, are you? Yes, why do you want to know? No reason. I mean, I've just heard stories about how advanced you guys are. And how kind and... Okay, fine, I need help. Well, sure, I guess. What's the problem? What happened is my friend who was with me on this mission was killed, and... I want to retrieve her final moments. The broken pod was recording her life log. Think you can get it for me? Sure. Thank you. Amnesia. Alright, I just need to extract some images, right? Amnesia. Real question is, where do we go for amnesia? Broken pot was recording. You think you can get it for me? Oh, here? Is that her? Oh, hacking it. Right, that's easy. That's what you needed. All good. Fuck! That's some good security right there. Thank him. There we go. Track the images from the life log. What the fuck? That was the last entry uh, contained in the life log. I could be wrong, but it looked like two resistance members were fighting each other. So my friend was killed by the resistance, by one of their own? Easy. We haven't finished restoring the data. It won't be complete until we dig deeper and... No, that's enough. I don't need to know anymore. That person in the red hood killed my friend. And she's going to pay for it. Oh, shit. Wait. What is it? Where are you going? To kill the bastard who murdered my friend. Just slow down, alright? We need more data about what happened. Besides, it's dangerous. The killer could be watching you right now for all we know. Find them. What do you think I should do? Let me ask around the resistance camp before you go running off. There can't be that many people in Red Hoods after all. Someone must know something. Alright, I can wait for a little while. Hey, and thanks. Wow! Okay, let's go investigate that. Seems we found that it was a little bit hidden. It would be easy for people to miss. Well, aren't we generous? Hmm? All this help for no personal gain? I know she's pretty, but... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like that. I mean, she is pretty, but that's... It's not... Whatever. Ah, <laughs> oh, loving the jealousy. Loving the jealousy. Ah, oh, 2B. You're warming up to him. I can feel it. You're like, oh, I'm not interested. Okay, look somewhere else. Well, all of a sudden, I'm interested. Ah. Oh, classic. Classic. We need to find someone wearing a red hood. Yeah. There can't be that many people here with a red hood. There it is. Bingo. Say, nice hood, you make it? What, this? No, a girlfriend of mine gave it to me. This is the first time I've worn it in public. Do you really like it? Yeah, it's great. In fact, I wish I had one for myself. Do you happen to know where she got it? No, sorry, I didn't think to ask. Do you know where your friend is? Maybe I'll go ask her myself. Man, you really like this hood. Last I heard, she was out in the desert station. She shouldn't be hard to find. I think she's the only woman there. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hope you managed to get a hood of your own. Wow, giving your friend a red hood. Sounds like that red hood was a gift of some sort. Gifts are such a useless ritual. Wow, okay. Where'd that come from? It's rude to give a person something without their permission. What if they don't want it? Mm, I think it's more about the feeling behind it than the actual item, right? Feelings are prohibited. 
Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Wow! To be, you gotta, you gotta chill, girl. You, <laughs> what the hell? I know you're jealous of the other girl and you're upset, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Damn! Our red hooded target should be in the desert. Stay alert. She could be our killer. But there's only one female resistance member at the desert station. Hmm. I don't see her. Let's ask that guy over there. How's that? You looking for a resistance lady? You must mean jackass, huh? Every time there's an issue, jackass tries to solve it with explosions or some violent method. I think she's off doing geological research in the desert caves. I'll send you the coordinates if you want. But if you get head out there, just make sure you don't get caught up in one of our explosions. You hear? I hope I don't get killed. Well, get a room, guys. Both sound like an old married couple. To be once that... I'm not... I'm not reading that. Not reading that. Alright, where is... That's for... What? Where even are we? We're here. Amnesia. Oh, gotcha. I was looking too far away, like a dumbass. I don't want to gift her anything. Should we give her like a pretty bow or something? Alright, we'll give her a bow. Here you go, you can have a pink one. No, not me! Fuck it. I don't know what was in your mind, but whatever. Ooh. I would have never found this place. Ooh. Ooh. going on? What the fuck? W wait, where's 2B? Did she not jump down or something? Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, there she is. Oh. 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 I love how this theme is just a remix of the other one. It's so cool. Any secret item over here? What's this? Is this a katana of some sort? I love katanas. Obtain cruel blood oath. What is this? A black blade used by warriors of the east. No, wait. A uh, cruel black oath. Oh, this one. A black katana kept by warrior monks of the east. Is it good? Virtuous treaty seems to be better. It's just a black version of the virtuous treaty. Bow plus two cuteness. Maybe if you look cute, the enemies won't hit you as hard. Ha! Like it. 
I love accidentally finding nice items. This is why we explore every corner. There we go. Ines makes the best princess. That he does. That he does. We are becoming as gods, as they say. Is this the way out? Oh, so this was the way out? Wait, what? What does this lead? Is this a secret entrance to a cave or something? Oh, it's the entrance to this. Okay. What was that? This is a secret entrance? It looks like a secret entrance that you can't enter from the other side. But it gives you access to these ledges. No! Shite. We don't have access to this ledge now, do we? Or is it the other way around? This ledge that gets you up there. Oh, wow. Damn it, so there must be something there. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. Wow, this game really loves its platforming. Cute bow, big sword. Okay, where was the... Shit, he's not going to show me the cave, is it? Is he going to show me the entrance to where that cave is? <laughs> I really hope so, because I won't be able to... F oh, it's in the middle here. Why am I being so silly? Anyone could find it. Except Kuma. Because he doesn't explore caves. <laughs> Too many bad memories of Zubats. Down the hole you go, Alice. You on the right way? Are we going the right way? Oh, looks like it. Don't you just love it? Oh, was that a body? Okay, we need to talk. Excuse me, are you jackass? Who wants to know? We're with your heart. We're conducting field investigation. Well, yippee for you. Listen, did you happen to give a red hood to a friend earlier? That red, uh, red is perfect for our Yoha colors, so we were hoping to. That old piece of crap? Yeah, I gave it to her. Hell, I never wanted it in the first place. Uh, so it came from someone else originally? Did I stutter? Yeah, it came from someone else. I bought the stupid thing after that explosion in the city ruins. Some resistance lady with red hair practically tack tackled me trying to get me to buy it. I only did it to get her off my case. Well, and because I thought it might look good on my friend. But if you tell her that, you're dead. Redhead resistance member. The same color as our client's hair. What client? What the hell's going on? Ah, uh, nothing. It's just... That's her nickname, the client. That's even stupider than Jackass. That lady was pretty creepy, though. Kept grinning at me like a crazy person. Grinning? Um, well, thanks for your help. We'll be on our way. See, I would have just killed her on the spot. But then again, I'm, I was never good at investigations. I'm more the, uh, Slavic type. Alright, back in the cave. Now we're gonna go back to the resistance camp. And uh Alert. fuck. The description of a female resistance member with red hair matches that of our client. But if it's the same person, why would she have had the killer's hood? Hypothesis. The red-haired resistance member is either the killer or an accomplice. Let's yeah. go talk to her. And then she forgot about it due to her amnesia. I don't know, suppressed memories of some crap. Where's this? Ooh, ooh, secret items. Ooh. <coughs> 200? Is that all I'm worth to you? That's an insult and a half. What the? Ah, oh, this is a different path. Is this where Gandalf fought the Balrog? Not interested in you guys. 
Probably not. Fuck it. There you go. Now you all die. You happy about that? There you go. Now you're all dead. You won't even worth that much XP, to be honest. Okay. So this is where we fell into Dark Cave. So we basically explored all of it, I think. Except this quarter down here. Maybe the client wanted to pin the crime on someone else. Maybe. Maybe that was the whole point. But she wouldn't have to pin the crime on anyone. Like, no one would have known. Resistance members dies all the time at the hands of machines. So why would it matter? Why would it matter who did it? No one would care. It's a bit odd. Alright, something must be up here. I'm keeping that pink bow, by the way. That pink bow stays. What's up here? What's up here? Where does this lead? Oh! Yeah, no. We're not gonna jump down there. That's a one-way street. Especially when there's items like that over here. Let's see what's here. The class trial will now be begin. Project Guest Bolt Report 6? What on earth is that? Project Guest Bolt. Picture books. Fishing Encyclopedia. Where's the Project Guest Bolt? Okay, here we go. April 1st, 2044. Today's committee meeting was cancelled due to the absence of a majority of members. The contact network for our urgent absences to be confirmed at a later date. I have no idea what that has to do with anything. Alright, let's head out from here and go back to our client and see if they remember their crime and if they attack us. Maybe the redhead girl is like the redhead girl that keeps, you know, keeping track of what everyone's doing. And then us, and every now and then she kills a few people to maintain order or something. No, I wanted to glide, you... Damn it! Why do you just jump and fall? Why do you like to embarrass me like this? Let's find out what happened. Probably something. I think I remember this. People attack me here. Maybe not. Alright, let's go out of the desert and we should be okay. What? I never opened that. It's pronounced Gestalt, by the way. Clearly, I suck at reading. But thank you. It's in here. I'm always searching for little secret things. Hello there, peaceful machine. <laughs> The more we kill, the more powerful we become. The more powerful we become, the more we kill. It's a never-ending cycle of violence. Undertale's gonna come back to haunt me if my level hits 99. I'm just waiting for Emil to get that experience chip. Ooh, people keep dying. A courageous soldier lost the battle at a garbage dump. <laughs> that just sucks. It's like dying in a place called Waterloo. get a temporary boost, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, I like the white katana thing. It looks very nice. I believe it's also the color scheme of Virgil's katana. Blue and white. Which is a very beautiful thing. I like black and red, but, you know, it's too Ichigo for me. It's, it's too try-hard. Wait, this is not where 
You know what? Let me just take a look at that photograph. This is actually going to be quicker than I thought it would be. Last time I did this, I got lost and it took me a while to get all the photographs. But this time we've been to most of the places. So we can just, you know, instantly trans... Sorry, instantly transport there. And, um... This music. I would take Hachun here. Okay, do I like stand here and something? On. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Better record the coordinates. I... Can I just walk straight out of the... No, I wouldn't be able to do that. A quest giver. Hello. Hello, welcome to the amusement park. Here is your stamp card. If you collect all the stamps, you win a free prize. What the fuck? Find the stamps inside the amusement park. Make sure to search high and low. And just between you and me, I hear the prizes are way more than just free. They're deluxe. Off you go then. <laughs> oh my god, he's so not. I feel so fucking guilty. I feel so. Gu oh, one of these guys has a stamp. Give me a stamp. Give me the stamp. Oh, it's here. Stamp discovered. It is advisable to recover as many of these collectible items as possible. Proposal. Imprint the stamp upon the card. You're taking this pretty seriously. <laughs> I love that. Oh, hello. I want this stamp. I feel like a little kid right now. Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Wait, that's a quest? No, that's a shop. This is... Oh my god, this game. I feel like a little kid, but you know what? I don't care. It's good to be like a little kid. It means you haven't lost that part of yourself. Oh, he's crying. Sniff sniff, so sad. I guess you want a dumb stamp, huh? Fine, I'll stamp it with my tears. Wow. Oh. Wait, why the fuck do I feel bad for a machine? Fuck off. I did not come here to feel. This was not part of our original arrangement. Give me the stamp. Let's be happy together. Stamp. What fun. Stamp. Down your weapons, we surrender. Is that a stamp? Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Where's the stamp? Is it up there? Find my stamp! It's not the stamp. Where is it? Do you know where the stamp is, good sir? Back off, asshole. We machines are alive. You got that? You should die. All of you should die. You got that goddamn stamp. Should die too. Okay, that works. Stamp, 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 stamp. Maybe if I hack him, he'll feel better. But isn't that hacking his emotions, which is illegal? Wait, illegal? What the hell am I talking about? Wait, can I hack this angry machine? Holy shit! Are you going to be happy now? No, wait, no! Okay, maybe we shouldn't hack the crying machine. That would not end well. Titanium alloy? Isn't that titanium used on tanks? And it's a listed material? Because, you know, government's greedy. They don't want civilians having good weaponry. Revved up machine. Stamp, 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 stamp. One stamp, come get it. I love stamp. Okay, we got that stamp. There must be a stamp here. Where's the stamp? Give me that stamp! Ah, the world is hilarious. Stamp sure. Stamp, 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 Juliet, where for 
No, don't. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That is the highlight for this video. That is- this is why I need to edit this LP, because at the beginning of every LP is a highlight, and this is gonna be one of them. It is beautiful. Oh my god. That is just beautiful. Oh, Julia, Julia, just thinking of you makes my warm all core and fuzzy. What the fuck? Bravo, truly a spectacular performance. So we started out with three Romeo and three Juliets, and now there are none. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. <laughs> so this is a piece of literature from the old world. Hmm. I believe it speaks of the cruelty of mankind. I came all this way from the village to see this play everyone's been talking about. I haven't been this deeply moved by something before. I'm going to go home and tell all my friends. This play doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> what the fuck? I was actually in a Romeo and Juliet uh, play uh, during high school, but this is just glorious. I still remember a lot of the lines. So it's just, it was just so fun to watch. It was just, you know, it was a thing. Oh my god. Okay, but, huh? There's another stamp? Maybe it's down there. Down here, maybe? I wonder if Junko and Ashima would like this play. She probably would, but you know. And this is why I love games. This is just beautiful. You... That was just... That was, this is... I love these little things in video games. It's the chance for people in the industry to just make shit like this that's fun. Like, no one would make a skit of this, but they just did it here, and it's just so beautiful. But I love what he said, wench. He should have just said, thought. I would... Oh. Why the heck is there a stamp inside a machine? I can't save you, can I? Oh my god! What the fuck?! What the fuck?!
Niner! 2B, a little help! These machines are level 42 and drunk! I appear to be dying. I need to be evading. Oh my god, wait a minute, I have a laser. No, I don't. Why is he laser? It does nothing! What the fuck? Who created this madness? Ooh, a stamp. Why is he laser vipping? What the hell? Someone would think we just encountered the final boss of the game or something. This is why people are scared of clowns, these guys. Fire the laser weapon! Even the laser weapon is not powerful enough for this. Ah! One of these machines has my stamp. This is my stamp. Damn it. No, I just wasted my weapon. No, don't bring them to me. Charge the laser weapons. I need to angle it in such a way that it hits all of them. Because they're not tall enough. Fire! We're never getting that stamp, are we? Holy shit! This guy could take a hit. This is madness! Can 2B like stop throwing them my way? Stop pushing him! It's almost like you want me dead! Oh my god, she pushes him right on me. the stamp why is he laser weapon my god forget the last boss of the game
we almost get them? It was at this moment I realized I really need to upgrade my pods. Can I have my stamp now? Where the hell is- th Oh. Well that was something else. Really made me work for that stamp, didn't I? Hey there, having fun? This place isn't exactly what I call fun. Good point, it's more like an unamusement park, eh? That's why I'm thinking about making a game. Oh yeah? Yes, a fun game that anyone can play, if only I had the materials. I don't suppose you could help me out. Sure. Excellent, I need a single tri-color cable. Just let me know where you can find it. If you know what you need, why don't you go find it yourself? Tri-color cables are found inside the machines in the amusement park. You don't expect me to slaughter my own kin, do you? You can just decide not to make the game, you know? Never. My creative urges must be satisfied. But you just said, oh, forget it. The machines are carrying tri-color cables are quite aggressive, so be careful. What the hell? So now I'm gonna go kill aggressive machines. Well, it wouldn't be out of character for me. There's just so much bonus stuff in this game. It's beautiful. We could do main story and then enjoy ourselves doing all this side stuff. It's just beautiful. Definitely got my money's worth. Time to call thy numbers. <laughs> Those things are humanity's greatest threat. Forget about the aliens. It's the machines at the carnival. They are humanity's greatest threat. They must be overpowered with the power of vodka or something, because they were just insane. If we didn't have that directional attack that could damage everything in a straight line, we would have been in trouble. They're just welcoming the toasters to the Dark Carnival. Isn't Dark Carnival an album done by, um... Ah, uh, who was it done by? The Mad Clown Posse? Or was it the Insane Clown Posse? Just which Junko do you like? Junko Inoshima? Kono Junko? Zombieland Saga? Junko Toho? I have no idea. Let's go get the last few stamps, we're so close. Do we get it from this guy? Break time. Give me a stamp and I'll leave you. Say, you want a stamp? Here, take it. Oh, he's got his little balloon. Damn it! I'm warming up to bloody machines. It's not right. Stamp, please. I want a stamp. You missed it. Fine, you don't have a stamp. <coughs> Do you have a stamp? Fine, just keep throwing your pedals. It, it's a really beautiful thing when people do what they love. This guy's- ooh, that looks like a stamp. This guy's like out there making, um... Uh, you know, throwing... Flower petals, it makes him happy. Stamp discovered. Proposal. Imprint the stamp upon the card. I love how- I love how, um, what's it called? Invested the thing is. But to be fair, I'm pretty invested in collecting the stamps too. So it's uh, pretty beautiful. No, but it's a beautiful thing when people follow their passion. They really put their all into it. Whether it's holding balloons, you know, making a performance, or even throwing pedals around. If you give it your all, it, it, it's just beautiful in its design. You gotta find what you're passionate about. You have a stamp? Junk disappeared. So I'm looking for aggressive machines to destroy. Oh, it's alright, man. You're never late to the party. There's a stamp here. Was it part of the tank? Is it possibly up here? 
No? Is it underground? No? Filthy lottery ticket? We're so close. The stamp's gotta be here somewhere. Is it maybe up here? Is this it? Stamp discovered. Yay! Alert. All stamps have been obtained. Hell Proposal. yeah. Return to the entrance and secure the promised deluxe prize. Deluxe? <laughs> we'll see. I love this. I love I I I'll be honest, this I, I actually did a lot of recordings while I was with Hutchin in Disneyland. And I found that I was enjoying it a lot more because I was recording and I was logging and I was sharing the experiences. And I tell you what, I'm really happy that I did that because we've been to Disneyland maybe three, no, four or five times together. And I remember this time the most because I've got the most footage from it. And it's so good to have memories on footage. It's just so good. You can just look back at it and you just remember it. It's just amazing. Photos are great. Little videos are better. All right, here we go. Let's get that deluxe price. Oh, I forgot the machine to tell you junk danger ahead. It's right in front of the let's play tank. It's not the tank. He's referring to Sa Simone. Yeah, the tank's not dangerous. It's the singing machine. So we're looking for the aggressive machine since they have the cables. Oh, where's the aggressive machine? Got all the stamps? Great job. Did you enjoy your time here? Or maybe not? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you realize that by now, whether or not you enjoyed something simply depends on your own heart. This place is but a mirror that reflects one's true back at them. Anyway, here you go. One deluxe prize coming up. Come again anytime. Huh. Oh, so we got a... So what are we looking for here? Game dev level one. Oh god, we gotta kill these things? I am so sorry guys, but this is for games. Let's just make this quick. Whether you attack me or not makes a little difference. The sacrifices we make for video games. We got it? Wait, weren't we doing something about a red hooded murderer? Yeah, that could wait. Welcome to RPGs. You get a little distracted. You have to play Persona to get it. Fair enough. Alright, let me hand in this quest. Hopefully, that's all he needs. Hello, live chat. Kuma. I left to throw out the trash. What happened after Romeo and Juliet mess? Uh, homicide. Well, we committed mass homicide. That's basically what happened. We collected a bunch of stamps and killed a bunch of innocent creatures in order to uh, get uh, a cable, and we killed a bunch of zombie things in the basement that were just insane. He's keeping that pink bow. It's a thing now. 2B gets the blue one, he gets the pink one. It's just how it works. You know, zombie clown robots. What's worse than a clown or a zombie or a robot? A zombie clown robot. You know what? I can actually name the video zombie clown robots. That is fucking beautiful. Zombie clown robots. <laughs> or clown zombie robots. Or robot clown zombies. You know what? Zombie clown robot sounds better. 
All right, I tried color cable. I must have it. Excellent. Now I just attach this here. Success. The game is ready. So what is this game of yours anyway? It's a shooting game. I have the feeling it's still really buggy though. I'd appreciate if you could debug it a bit while you play. Feel like playing a game? Sure. Have fun. It's like a Pac-Man on steroids. Congratulations, did you enjoy yourself? You like playing a game? Sure. Have fun. Do, do I get like any bonuses for doing this or am I just wasting my time? It's kind of funny that he's making a shooting game. And he's made this game by killing his own people. It just shows how selfish this machine is. He's willing to destroy the lives of others to fulfill his ambition of creating a game about violence. Or is he... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. The thing's moving. So what, if we keep beating this game, eventually gets harder? Is that how it works? By doing this, I'm just gotta flank you. There's no time limit. There you go. Grabs it. You enjoy some. This is the highlight of Near Automata. Feels like it. Oh, it's actually, oh, it's actually debugging. It's actually getting more difficult. So do I have to keep playing to debug it? How many times do I have to play this to debug it? How many times do I have to debug this bloody thing? Look on the plus side, I'm getting better at controlling this thing. Look how much my deadliness has improved. How many times do I have to debug your game? What do you mean you must find the bug? Mission life from you to use your materials to He offered you a prize if you find the bugs hidden in the game. How do I find the bugs? I have to deliberately crash the game? How do I crash this game, though? 
Do I get the blocks to destroy each other or something? I'm trying to think, how would I do it? between staying up and hovering. Has anyone actually done this? You have to move to the walls in a certain location to get a bug. Um... Oh, wait. Is it moving it? I don't know if that's a bug, though. So he can move them around. Let's not waste, like, an hour on it. Alright, let's go investigate that murder. Wasn't it our primary objective, originally? The really cool thing that I like about this is you don't have to edit very much when you take scheduled breaks and then cut the video at those breaks. You just get, uh, you edit the beginning, the end, you find a highlight, you put it at the beginning of the next video and you're done. It makes it that much quicker when making Let's Plays. I think that's the one good thing I've learned um, by editing Danganronpa 1 and 2 as a Let's Play rather than a live stream. I learned how to edit Let's Plays more efficiently. Though it didn't come without hundreds of hours of editing before I realized that out. Before I realized that. that. So Kuma has to actually test the game within a game. Yes. That's what they're going for. They want me to test the game within a game. Isn't that just trippy? Oh, you linked the YouTube video? Thank you. We're already out of the cave, so screw it. Let's find the culprit. Okay, we're probably close to where we need to go. I'll protect your parade later. We're almost there, level-wise. There's the answer. I can watch it at the end. Just because if I watch it now, you guys won't be able to see it. There's a life form here. Is it above the bridge, though? Can I climb on top? There might be a life form up there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There he is. I wish to talk to you, oh wise machine. Really? I must commit combat first? Fine. Fine, I'll kill all you guys first. I will talk to the wise machine. See, now you're stuck. You're at a corner. Is that it? Have we done everything we need to? We can talk to the wise machine? Probably. Alright, let us talk to the wise machine. Ah, uh, da, da 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 a few miles. It's okay, Frick. I'll edit out the LP. No problemo. If you're gonna do it again, to find the bug, you just have to move your ship by going through the wall or going on a certain spot until it starts glitching and you find it. Oh. Let's talk to the wise machine. It's okay. What? Well, there she goes. Uh, can... What? Uh, 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 well, can you stop? There you go. Took you a few tries. Hey there, buddy. Are you listening? That seems like a fat no. I guess someone mind if I hack my way inside. Two uh, B, get out of the way. To exist, I must be strong. Really destroy life. Really
What the hell was that? In pain because it can't find value in its own existence? It looks like it wants to know why it's here, why it exists. And what about me? Why am I here? Why do I... Alert, hacking has resulted in an alignment of synthetic transmissions. Oh, right, sorry, I just... I better be more careful next time. Wow. This machine is sounding like it might actually go suicidal. I'm actually worried for it. All right, let's find the Red Hood. According to a woman that came to turn out the jackass, she brought the Red Hood from Redhead Resistance Woman. A description that sounds awfully a lot like the woman we met in the ruins. Go back to her and tell her the real story. It's all right, Frick. It's all right. We're streaming longer than usual. It's perfectly fine. You can always catch up on the LPs whenever you have time. Don't worry, I won't get upset. I won't get upset. Okay, hopefully we don't die from this. Assassin's Creed! No, 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 fight! Oh, he survived. Well, that was impressive. What's up with that? The uh, Devil May Cry stream was nine and a half hours. Just because I needed closure for the ending. And it was amazing. I can't believe that was yesterday. This is what I love about playing video games. I experience such emotions and happiness whenever I do it that it's just unbelievable. And now imagine if I was doing this every day. I would be a happy champion. It's impossible to stay on top of everything. It, it, it's just impossible. It's just too much. Wait a minute. Why is that a white boar? You seem to be unusually powerful, O Great Boar. We must harvest your- Whoa, shit, did it just take half my health? This boar is powerful. Uh, where do you think you're going? There is no escape for you, boar. What the hell are these things? Well, that explains the beeping. Oh, great boar, I will harvest your hive. It takes half my health in one hit. How can I hack a living organism? Doesn't work. Oh, fucking almost died. Gotta keep my distance. Uh, 2B, you wanna attack? Is it dead? Beast hide. White boar meat. Wow. Jesus, nine hours? Nine and a half hours. What's this moose doing inside? Why is it level 43? These things are always leveled higher than we are. See, this one goes down a lot quicker. Whereas that other one? Doesn't mess around. Kibo and Kirumi vs. Mew. Uh, Mew was actually a voice actress in Devil May Cry 5. She uh, voiced uh, Ava. Or Eva. Depends how you want to call it. It's always tricky trying to get to where you need to go. There she is. So how'd it go? Did you find the murdering wrench in the Red Hood? Not exactly. We did learn that you sold the hook to someone. What? Apparently a Red Head Resistance member sold the hood after the explosion in the ruins. That doesn't make sense. We're starting to believe you had something to do with the murder. But that's impossible. I don't know anything about that. Listen, if you... Look, you said there would still be some records left in the pod, right? Then we have to look at them right now. Think about this for a second. I want you to understand what you're asking. You may have killed your own friend. I don't know why or how, but it's possible. I don't care, I have to know the truth, please. Alright, I'm heading in. Why didn't we head in the pod sooner?
Examining storage circuits. 88%. 92%. We checked the images from the life log. Oh wow, that was her. But who took the image? Ah. I'm a type E. A Yoha type E. Yoha? My function is to seek and execute deserters and traitors. I disguise myself so I can approach my targets and kill without warning. But one day I was ordered to kill my friend. So I did. I had my orders and I followed them. It was hard. So hard. And after a while I couldn't live with that. I ha what I had done. So you erased your own memories? Yes. But this wasn't the first time. I've killed comrades, friends, lovers. I've done it more- What the fuck? Then I can count. Again and again and again. And... Heh. <laughs> Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. Everything is alright. I am Yoha Type B. E for execution. I follow orders, I kill my friends. <laughs> and you solved it. Solved the murder. Now I have to pay you. <laughs> Wait, you don't... Do you need a friend killed? A lover? It's my job. My job. My job. <laughs> my job. My job. <laughs> Let's go. Holy fuck, the chills down my spine. Whoa. 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 I follow orders. Whoa, so many chills down my spine. Fuck, man. Type E. I didn't know there was such a thing. Did you two be? Some things are better left unknown. Yeah, I suppose so. So if each letter, so S is probably nine support, two B is probably two battle, what's A then? What's A2? Is A for what? And then E is for execution, so what does the A stand for? Who the fuck is 2A then? And we've been killing deserters for a while. What the fuck? 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 Good job, Kuma. You gave a serial killer her memories back. Yeah, because it was... Oh, we screwed up. We royally screwed up. Assault 2, maybe? Attacker? So, 2B is a battle, Yorha. 2A is an, an assault? An attack? Let's go do the photo quest real quick. That's a lot of fun. Yes, it is. And that music. It's haunting. Yo, Katara, you're welcome, Puma. I had to run to the desert to escape that music. No, what? Didn't A2 kill the Forest King early in the game? Maybe it means assassin? It could be assassin. So E is for execution. A is for assassin. That makes sense. Executing your own, you know, members. Assassinating other ones. So does that mean A2 is... Because she's not wearing a blindfold. It's, it basically sounds like she's doing it on her own. Wow, let's go to the bunker real quick. Holy crap. S is scanner. D is defender. A is attacker. B is battler. There must be a designation. Like 100%. It, it, it means something. Good night, Frick. What the fuck? I just got what the fuck. What the fuck now? Oh my god. I killed my father. 
killed my mother. Well, that's not a good thing. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped. Both the joy of growing up, and the agony of being alone. Okay, that's pretty dark. Wow. Wow. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Wow, this place is so black and white. It's black and white because there's, there's nothing in between. There's no color, there's no emotion, there's nothing. <laughs> There's just this shifty thing here. Do you believe? I mean, do you know who this war is for at this point? I oh, never mind. I've said too much. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Welcome to your Why job. Why don't we rest a little bit, Tubi? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Let's sleep here. Do you want to take a break? Yes. Wait. Are you just gonna sleep on her bed? That's... Do you want to save? Yes. Do you want to continue the game? Yes. She was just watching him sleep. What the fuck? What's in here? There's like a red dot. Why is there a red dot here? Did I, did I have to do something? Did I not do something? Was it someone I was supposed to talk to? Oh! Someone up here wants to talk. A quest! Let's pick up said quest. Damn it! This place is so impractical! Operator, what are you doing? I'm analyzing data. Is part of your current assignment? No, it's merely a hobby. Wait, really? Well, it contains vast amount of data coordinate, and node reading, photographic images, and so on. Analyzing data can lead to new information. I spend my time looking at such information. It seems boring. I mean, no offense. It's more interesting than engaging in mindless banter. Hey, still, there might be a way to make this chatter less mind and meaningless. There's a data terminal in the abandoned factory that I cannot access without satellites. Would you feel like helping? Agreed. Wonderful. I'll send you the coordinates. It's hard to find, so keep your eyes filled. I am so into that. I have to go there and unlock all the items. Didn't she also say B before E? Type Z would stand for Zeta Slow. If don't don't know its reference, it's from The World Enters. Oh. Don't we have to go to Pascal's village? We'll do we'll do main missions, side missions. Main mission, side missions. That way we get a main mission out of the way, then we get a side mission. That way we explore the full world. This game is so rich in its content. It's amazing. So much work would have gone into this game. It's insane. And the music is so beautiful. When I hear this music, it's almost like coming home. Okay, so that's a photograph. We don't need to worry about that. That's the data analysis. We don't need to worry about that. That's photographs. Again, that's in the forest zone. We don't need to worry about that. The village weapons, and that's in Pascal's village. Why can't we... Are we here? No, we're not. Are we here? Can we take a thing to Pascal's village? I thought we had it. Oh, here we go. I don't know why I didn't see it before. I must be blind. No idea how I didn't see it before. 
See, I'm learning how to use everything. I'm learning how to use chips. I'm learning which ones to sell. I'm learning how to fuse them. I'm using the transport. The first playthrough, I was hopeless at it. This time, I'm a little better at it. It's such a learning curve in these games. And I love this loading screen. It just has this text. This innocent music. I wonder what would your robot version of you would be doing in a world in ruins like this. I have no idea. Um. Oh, it's 9S and 2B, yes. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. You know anything about the aliens? The aliens, you mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact that they never give us orders anymore is also a reason why we quit yes, fighting. Other Pascal. machines. Pascal. Yes, to be. Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the forest kingdom. Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This... Forest Kingdom sounds like something we should check out. Oh god, I remember. So we're going there now. Why did you choose not to fight? We have been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless friends times and time again, but losing friends isn't what scares me. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care about all die around me. That's why I decided I've had enough. Ines, what's on your mind? I wanted to ask you something. Life in the village. What do you do to day-to-day -day existence? Well, as you know, we're machines. We do not require food or typical uh, sustenance. Our course provide a near infinite supply of energy. We do, however, deteriorate over time, which means we need to procure parts and initiate repairs. Still, it's not like we break down all that often. To be completely honest, life in the village is rather slow. You should know the reason why this village detests fighting? Well, it's a bit of a heady concept, but in the end, I suppose it's because conflict has ceased to have meaning for us. Care to explain? We machines are weapons created for the purpose of waging war. However, this war simply goes on and on and on with no end in sight. We have come to realize that the cost of fighting for us as individuals far outweighs any benefits that victory might bring. I believe we will eventually live to see a day when androids and machine life forms able to live together in peace. These machines are more intelligent than the entire freaking human race. Not likely. Ask about the shop. Why is there a shop in your village? It's not like you folks use money. Oh, we do. For us, simple materials take the role of currency. Each machine is an equal, which means the traditional capitalistic acquisition systems of the past don't work for us. Instead, our economy is focused on trading materials according to one needs. It was a lesson we learned from mankind's past history. Most fascinating, don't you think? We've made it a point of emphasis to teach our children about different economic systems. You should speak to them if the subject is of further interest. They teach children economics! I was wondering if you might help me with a small project. I'd like you to collect and bring back any information you find regarding the old world during your travels. Really why? I'm hoping you use the knowledge, whatever knowledge remains of the old world, to make life better for those here in the village. I'd be glad to share anything I find with you. Please show me of any of your interest. Thank you so much. There's data from mankind to be ever so fascinating. I know it's not much, but please take it. No XP. I'm gonna if you find any data. What the hell? And these little kids know economics. Looks like fun. What you doing? This kid's being weird. Yeah, I asked if he wanted a coin that's low value, one that's of high value. He said he wanted the worthless one. Seriously? Hey kid, I've got a coin that's worth a little more than the one that's worth a lot. Which one do you want? Um, the little one. You sure about that? Yeah, because it looks cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. He's weird. Yeah, what a dummy. I'm a dummy, uh -huh. thanks a lot. Mm, the little guy might have a bad mathematical process, or maybe his logic circuits got crossed somehow. I should probably take a look inside. Idiotic Savin. He probably enjoys the coin. 
and he doesn't look at it for its currency value. My god, we're taking a crash course in economics, aren't we? Damn it! This machine's logic just killed me. Let's find out about machine economics while we're here. We might as well. Let's see what's inside the mind of this machine. I don't think exchanging gunfire with this machine is going to be a winning. Damn me. Okay, that one's down. Come you seem to have really warmed up to the Pascal village. It seems so. Alright, let's see what he's thinking. Hmm. If your logic circuits are this advanced, why are you behaving like that? Well, I suppose there's no point in pretending anymore. It's simple, really. If I pretend to prefer smaller denominations of coins, the people around me are so entertained they keep giving them to me. In this fashion, I'm able to earn far more than I ever would if I asked for larger units of currency. There's an important lesson here. The more of a fool people take you for, the more you'll learn of their true nature. I'll keep that between us for now, alright? I need them to keep thinking that I'm slow. Here's a little hush money to smooth things over. I know where this is from. There's basically a story. This guy's basically in a store getting a haircut. And he's complaining about this kid, and he says, this kid is such a dummy. And this guy asks why, and he says, look at this, and he calls the kid over. He's like, hey kid, do you want this, you know, these coins of like 20 cents, a few dollars or something? Or this $10 note? And the kid takes the coins. And the guy says, look, what a dummy. He took the coins instead of the $10 note. Then the guy, the other guy that this guy was talking to, asked the kid, hey, why did you take the coins instead of the $10 note? And the kid says, oh, if I took the $10 note, he would stop showing people this. And so I would get less. Because if I took the ten dollars, he would stop giving me the coins, and it's just like mind blown. <laughs> I'm gonna put that as the timestamp. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm not sure I even know what it means to be smart anymore. <laughs> Terms are too vague to formulate a reasoned response. <laughs> Don't I know it? Sheltered machine. I heard an explosion at distance, are you okay? Wow. 9S just had his mind blown by economics. Imagine if he met Holo the Wise Wolf. What, me? My son put some kind of electronic lock on our house and hold his full self inside. I've been standing out here for ages, simply not responding to me. I think what you need is a family council. I mean, not that machines have families to begin with. I insist that you help me get the stupid door open. Just break it down and get my son out of there. Help the mother. All right. Yeah, that's an electronic lock, all right. Hello there, hello. Your mother's worried about you, so how about you unlock the door and come out? Looks like he's ignoring me. The buzz will destroy the quarter, open the electronic lock. That seems to be my only option. This is not how lock picking works. Kid's a fucking genius, is what he is. Coolest Charles, worried sick about you. Why on earth did you barricade yourself inside? Because I was scared. 
Now that we're cut off from the network, I don't know what people are thinking. They're like monsters. It's scary. Oh, my darling boy. It'll be all right. Mommy loves you. Wow, mommy. So I can go now or... Oh, yes. Thank you for your help. Take this, I insist. Try to help my son deal with his fear better from now on. Communication is so important. It's good that these parents are actually listening to their children's problems and taking them seriously. And educating them. That's kind of what I like. My education as a child. Great parenting. Ah, whatever. Couldn't kill us at this point. Parents don't teach you how to be parents. They teach you how not to be parents. No, I want to go down. Stop humping it, Sora! Learning machine. Fast, uh, facing dangers on your own makes you strong. A solitary man is a true soldier. This is true. Damn it! Why am I? I'm so I got used to Pascal. I've been corrupted by these things. Man with a hat. Existence precedes existence. Um, man is nothing. You know what? I haven't done this quest before, but I can't be bothered doing this guy's quest. Gene Paul annoys the crap out of me. I gotta talk to his fan. He's just all uppity about himself. And she's like, oh my god, I hope Senpai will notice me. Letter for Gene Paul. And he's not even gonna read it, the ass hat. Literally. He's an ass hat. He doesn't even read it. All the Pauls are ass hats. And he thinks it's a waste of time to go see her. What a dick. He basically doesn't give a shit about his fans. There you are. What did Master have to say about the ladder? Actually said it wasn't worthy of a response. I knew it. Isn't he the greatest? It's sickening that people treat people like that. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do next with the gene pool thing. I don't even think I'm supposed to do anything. Amusement park in the desert. Find two of his fans to give their presents to Gene Paul. Oh, fuck Gene Paul. Let's go to the village and slaughter everything. Child. What the fuck? Child. Child. What is this? Don't listen to them, 2B. Together forever. Together forever. Carry me. Carry me. They don't have any feelings. They're what just the imitating human speech. What the Let's fuck? Let's take them out. 